Homeless Solutions Incorporated is building 10 affordable apartments in Washington Township, Mars County, New Jersey. After years in the design and approvals process, the project is poised to be the first nonprofit affordable housing development to receive LEED Platinum certification in New Jersey. This is the second in a series of eight short videos highlighting the construction and occupancy of these green affordable homes. Today we'll be catching you up on what we've been doing since our groundbreaking as well as showing you uh, in particular the process of insulated concrete forms which we're using uh, as one of our primary green technologies. Prior to construction, the site contained a rather old dilapidated single family home. Where the other buildings that we have located right now, we had a, a very large barn that was probably 150 years old but in pretty bad shape. Before the groundbreaking, we demolished the single family home and we deconstructed the barn so that we can use that material later, the old barn beams, the, uh, the siding and things of that nature. We started with, of course, is the site work. We cleared everything out. Then we went into clearing of all the old utilities that were on site. Those went out and we started putting new utilities. And we dug two very large holes that contain a dry well system uh, which consists of uh, perforated concrete tanks surrounded by uh, clean stone and then cover that up. Um, the other things that we started with, of course, were the insulated concrete forms and the foundation of the buildings. So we started with our footings, we put our footings down and then we carry through with insulated concrete forms. So we put the insulated concrete forms in and we did two pours up until today. The first pour was basically from the footing up to the windowsill height and then from the windowsill height we're doing today up to the second floor level of all the buildings. Well, the insulated concrete forms have several benefits. A lot of the, the benefits start with the energy efficiency. The way I particularly see it is more important to me is the energy efficiency of the buildings. And because they're using insulated concrete forms, they have a higher R value than any typical other construction that you can put together. And that equates to a lot of thermal savings within the building. Uh, you also have a much more durable building. Uh, insulated concrete forms are basically reinforced concrete with polystyrene on either side of, of the concrete, and that's a very strong building. Now, um, we also wanted to be environmentally friendly, and I've yes. heard that concrete, using concrete is uh, sometimes considered uh, not necessarily the most environmentally friendly. Um, but you had an explanation for that. Yeah, th th there's, two, there's two views. Well, the first thing that you can look at is when you're building with concrete and polystyrene, you're not really using any wood or, or utilizing trees or, or, or taking trees down. And that's the one thing that I see. The second thing is that concrete, in particular this project and all the projects we do, we use slag, which is a, by, which is a byproduct, and uh, instead of using Portland, because Portland has a, a bad name or it's been told that it, it offsets a lot of carbon in, in the process, of creating Portland cement. So what we do is we kind of offset the amount of Portland we use but with slag concrete and that helps bring down the amount of carbon that we actually put out in the atmosphere. And added to that of course is that our concrete supplier is really right down the road in Kenville so there's That's only correct. a few miles here to transport the concrete. That's correct. I have to tell you these look pretty ugly <laughs> um, and so what is the outside and the inside this could be a 1950s uh, concrete block building? No, absolutely not. What we actually have is behind the form, built into the form, built into the form, what retains the form and keeps the form together is this metal top. And there's a metal tie that transcends from the front face to the back face. And that metal tie inside the form is actually used to actually fasten all the surfaces. So essentially, Peter, what you're saying is that on the outside, this is going to look like any other residential building. And on the inside, these same attachment points uh, will have sheetrock just like it were any That's other correct. residential building. And so no one is going to know that this is a concrete building at all. That's Absolutely not. Absolutely not. think about the durability between a stick built or a modular home and a concrete home, the concrete home is going to last almost two or three times longer than your regular wood home. 
As far as a cost is concerned between the two structures, what we find is that it's pretty much the same exact cost, if not less, for the insulated concrete forms. But the construction is actually a lot faster than a stick built. The labor intensity on the insulated concrete form is pretty easy. It stacks in, it goes in real quick, and there's one labor process involved in the whole entire process of before you're ready to apply finishes to it. As opposed to a stick built or a modular, you basically have several trades that have to come in and put together a stick built home. You have a framer followed by a sheather, then you have an insulator, and then you basically have a wrapping of the building to protect it from water. Uh, in insulated concrete form, it's just one step, one labor. So that brings down the cost dramatically on the actual uh, building of the, of the units. This video series was made possible by a 2009 Neighborhood Builder Award from Bank of America.